Not another one. Come with me. <sighs> These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. I'm not there. Turn back. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This is... <sighs> this way? After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? How is this even possible? Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? <laughs> Why not? We're almost there. Can you still walk? You're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. These voices... They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. partner of my choice, I've already chosen. We're here. Welcome 
to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought, through these you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? Understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. 
That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. The Golden Dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answer.